Okay, thanks for joining me again today. We're going to talk about this new kit I just received a few days ago. Got it in the mail directly from Russia and I ordered it off of eBay. It's called the Soviet VDV Paratrooper Mess Kit. It's an all-in-one mess kit. Okay, so in the late 50s, the Soviets needed a lightweight kit for their paratroopers for when they drop behind lines and it needed to be light and it needed to be compact. The uh, standard issue mess kit and um, canteen that everybody knows about that the, 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 the Soviet Army still uses to this day is very bulky and very heavy and wasn't suitable for their paratroopers. So they adopted this in the late 50s. So um, I, in my research, I discovered that the Soviet Navy actually invented this kit, okay, in 1959. Um, and the paratroopers adopted it and they used it from the 1960s on and through the Af Afghan War, the Chesnia War. Um, and a lot of these were made and were never used and this one apparently by looking at it and the description I got on eBay is this was brand new been sitting in a surplus warehouse okay and and by looking at it the only date I found on it is inside the bag there's a date stamp inside I'll, I'll try to show it to you inside the flap uh, but it says 1979 and it look that's what it looks like unless I'm reading it wrong it's the stamp is a little faded, but anyways, I think this kit was made in 79. So, <clears throat> let's start talking about this a little bit. <clears throat> I do know that there is two types of canteens uh, in this thing. One is aluminum, which is what I have here, and one is plastic. So I want you to be aware of that if you start looking at them. But they also have a plastic version, and I'm not sure how good the plastic one is, but this one here is aluminum. Okay. So this outer cover, it's a nice olive drab, light canvas type material, probably cotton. Uh, it covers the whole thing. It's a single flap covering, okay? You can see the button right here I'm pointing to. That's what holds the flap on. You turn around to the back, and there's a belt loop type system on there where the soldier could hang it on some sort of utility belt or maybe even use it to strap it inside their their bat, their combat pack or something okay <clears throat> alright so let's open this thing up you pull on this tab right here to open the top now the date code I found in mine was was right in here okay and you're not gonna be able to see it on the camera because it's kind of faded but uh, I think this was made in 79 because of that okay so Let's take this kit out. We'll set this bag aside here for a minute. Okay. Now this is the whole kit. A canteen, uh, a large pot, and a small cup. All in one set. Okay. Let me turn around here. It's all held together with this locking handle for the small cup that's on the bottom. Okay. So this is the cup. That's the handle for the cup. This is the pot. A very large pot and then the canteen rests right inside there so let's take this apart real quick just simply pop it pop the handle open and the canteen will come out okay all right and then you have a large pot with a bale handle okay it's pretty nice and then you got this cup with the uh, folding handle and the handle is nice sturdy um, hinged handle okay right. and it also has this recess made into the cup and I'll talk about that in a minute all right so let's start with a canteen canteens all aluminum has this cap that's captured by this chain here to keep you from losing your cap on your canteen okay just simply screws off now, this uh, 
this canteen. I measured it into a uh, pour. I filled it up with water to the bottom of the neck, poured it into a measuring cup or measuring pitcher, and it holds exactly one quart when you fill it to the bottom of this neck. Okay, so that's a nice size. It's it holds the same amount as what a USGI canteen does. Okay. All right. So let's talk about this pot. Pot is all aluminum also, with a nice rolled edge on the top here. Okay, it's got a single bale handle for hanging it over the fire or something like that. Okay, all right. Um, the gauge of the, the 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 aluminum, the gauge that they made out of this made this out of is pretty thick. Okay. It feels pretty heavy duty for that. Okay, it's not real thin, like a uh, like the East German mess kit feels thinner than this does. Okay, so this, when you fill it all the way to the rim, all the way to the top, as much as it will hold, it holds exactly um, two quarts. I mean one quart. I'm sorry. It holds one quart or four cups. That's where I got tripped up. One, one quart or four cups all the way to the top of the of the rim of this pot, okay? All right, and then one last thing I just saw here, the bail handle can either fold over like this, which would keep it away from your fire underneath here possibly, or it folds all the way, all the way over and underneath the pot like this for storage, all right? Hope everybody can see that. I'm trying my best with this camera. All right, so let's move to the cup. <clears throat> the cup filled all the way to the top of the rim, as much as it can hold, is two and three quarter cups all the way to the top. Okay, so that's a, that's a pretty good amount um, for making coffee or or whatever in this thing. Okay, let me try and get you some better shots. Let's, all right. And then I was talking about this recess. The recess is cool because you can use this as a lid to increase your boil time, or decrease your boil time, rather. It would fit right on top of here, okay? And then you bring your lid up, and I want you to listen to this right here. Hear that snap? Okay. Uh, from the factory, they have cut some little s notches in the cup here on both sides so that the, when you snap the bail handle up here, it locks, them, it locks them together. So you can hold it over the fire, uh, you can hang it by the bail and keep it all together in one piece. Okay? And if you see my East German video, East German uh, mess kit video, uh, I did this um, to my kit to lock the handle on there so I could pop popcorn in the bottom pot. Okay? I didn't get my idea from this. The Russians already had this designed into this before I even did that to my East German pot. But that's a really cool feature. Alright? So let's talk about how much this weighs. Now I'm going to bring this stuff back into frame here so you can see it during the video. Now how much does this stuff weigh with water? So if we fill the canteen all the way to the bottom of the neck as before, the whole set together, if you put it all together it weighs 3 pounds 3 ounces full of water. All right. So like this. So like this, fill with water, it's three pounds, three ounces, okay? If you, if it's empty, if the canteen is empty with no water in it, the whole set weighs one pound, 3.7 ounces. So that's not too bad for an all-inclusive kit like this, okay? <clears throat> so the last thing I want to bring up is uh, 
where I got a lot of this historical information was off the internet. Uh, uh, somebody put together a nice blog about all different kinds of mess kits, uh, and they it, it's, it's pretty extensive. So I wanted to share that with you. I'm gonna put it in the description and put a little uh, note in the uh, video so you can see that. But it is mess kits, m e s s k i t s dot wordpress dot com. And if you wanted to skip directly to this kit that I'm talking about here, the Russian uh, kit, you would put forward slash page three on the end of that address forward slash page three all right so we're going to go outside now um and i'm going to cook up a little lunch using this thing uh be my first time using it so um stand by just a minute and i'll have it ready to go okay so for this part i'm going to try to cook up some lunch out here i'm in my backyard i happen to be home from work today with my son who wasn't feeling well so he's he's taking a nap now so we're going to take advantage of his nap time so I can pick some lunch today we're going to be cooking this Noor rice dish along with a can of chicken something that's really simple to make don't take much time at all so we're going to be using Trangia stove and my canteen uh, stove here. So let me get this started. Okay. Now that's going. All right. And the recipe calls for two cups of water brought to a boil with a, a teaspoon of margarine. So we're going to put this up on here, like so, turn this around, all right, we got like the canteen here, we're going to measure out two cups of water, all right. go. All right, we're going to put our contents, the contents of our packet in there. All right, and we're going to open this can of chicken and put it in there. We'll drain a little bit of this water off behind here. All right. And here we go. All right. Let's get a little closer so you can see it better. I apologize for that. So now we're just going to give a little stir here. say to bring it to a boil so we'll use our our lid here slash pot on top and I'll come back to you whenever it starts to get close okay so I think we've got ourselves a boil let me get you up here so you can see okay so it says to bring the contents to a boil so now what I'm gonna do is put the simmer ring on so give me just a minute here to Reset my camera. Okay. So I'm going to take this off. Set it aside here for a second. And set our simmer ring on like so okay we're going to take this and put it on yes we can
Oh. Put it on here and let it simmer for about seven minutes. Okay, and I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so it's been about uh, seven minutes. And it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna take this and set it off to the side here and just kind of let it cool down and as it cools it will thicken up. All right. <clears throat> and I'm going to take this off. Take our simmer ring. Adjust it close and extinguish our fire. So let me let this cool off just a little bit. I'll plate some up and you can see what it looks like even better. This concludes my video of the Russian slash Soviet VDV Special Forces Canteen and Mess Kit. Um, I think it's a pretty neat set. Uh, I look forward to trying it in the field instead of out here in the backyard. And I think my dish turned out pretty good. This is the first thing I've cooked in it. I'm sure every one of you are um, familiar with the the Nor brand of foods that we have. And I find these much tastier than the Mountain House um, dehydrated foods. They they have a lot of sodium in it, and I prefer this stuff. It's it's cheaper too. So, anyways, um, if you like what you've seen today, you enjoyed the video, please click subscribe on the screen or or in the description. I try to put out videos as much as I can on outdoor things like uh, I do some fishing videos out of my kayak, uh, I do uh, some camping and, and a little bit of bushcraft stuff. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.